Cross-Curricular Teaching and Learning with CLIL by Marcia Lucini, Ivana Milković, Luciana Soldo, and Esther Luisa Nieto Moreno de Diezmas. Several studies reveal a gap between theory and practice in initial teacher education, which has been noted at the beginning of the 20th century, but still remains an important problem of teacher education. Some of the challenges faced by new pre-primary and primary teachers upon entering the teaching profession include foreign language proficiency, basic foreign language teaching methodology, intercultural experience, cross-curricular connections, and technology advancement. Only recently there has been a change in attempts to find a solution for this challenge by trying to bring theory closer to practice. eTwinning is an educational platform for collaboration on international projects, and it is located on the European School Education Platform. It was introduced to ITE institutions in 2015. eTwinning enables student teachers to work on international educational projects and gain benefits such as practical experience in implementing project-based teaching, working in a multidisciplinary international settings, developing ICT language and intercultural communication skills, developing professional and soft skills, and so on. The eTwinning project, ITE, Educating for Sustainability from Universities to Classes, has been planned as a multidisciplinary international project that connects theory to practice. The goal of the project for ITE institutions was to better prepare their student teachers for future careers, so partners from Italy, Spain, Croatia, Romania and Poland have been working together on project activities. The circular methodology of the project was supported by four groups of participants, the international project team, teacher trainers, student teachers and pre-primary and primary teachers. The international teams communicated through the eTwinning portal or using other available ICT tools. Communication between national groups of students with their teacher trainers and communication between pre-primary and primary teachers and their students happened mainly on national grounds in the ITE institutions and pre-primary. The global and goal of this project was to focus on environmental education and find a new cross-curricular approach to environmental, social and economic sustainability involving values of citizenship and responsibility. The workflow was organized in the following way. First, the international project team formed working groups, set topics of the project, defined the timeline and selected the appropriate teaching methodology. Next, international groups of student teachers worked together and developed ideas and materials for cross-curricular teaching following the CLIL approach. Next, teachers from partner schools modified the materials to suit their pupils' needs and their level of English and worked together on the provided Student topics. teachers developed projects based on the following topics. Clean and accessible energy, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, and fight Topic against of sustainable climate. cities and communities. The title of the project was The Life from the Seed, and it had its own project logo, DJ Radish. DJ Radish, the logo, was designed by using digital art as a teaching tool in order to involve young children who are exposed to cartoons and media daily and to raise their interests in this project. Here is an example of a project developed from the topic of sustainable cities. Activities in this project were designed for pupils aged five to seven years using English and Italian language. The aim of the project was to use the focus on the life developed from a seed as a starting point for teaching English through CLIL. 
activities, students' this... teachers designed visual teaching materials such as a comic starring DJ Radish, vocabulary flashcards, worksheets, organized pupils' diaries, and so on. Student teachers' design comic starring DJ Radish was used in the introductory part of the project with children. DJ Radish is a lovable character that wants to organize a party for the Earth Day celebration. However, he needs help because all of his friends are still seeds. So, when the teacher shared the story with children and asked questions about it, the children were engaged by DJ Radish comic because his, their help was needed to raise and gather all his friends who are still seeds. Children learned about the life cycle of plants and how to cultivate a small garden following instructions by playing games and always learning English language. Comic starring DJ Radish was used in the introductory part of the project with children. DJ Radish is a lovable character that wants to organize a party for the Earth Day celebration. However, he needs help because all of his friends are still seeds. So, when the teacher shared the story with children and asked questions, process was closely connected to using or creating visual teaching materials with different forms of visual arts to enhance learning and understanding of new words, ideas and processes. Although the project was aimed at teaching English as a foreign language to children, the topics also embedded science, arts, handicraft, intercultural communication, collaboration, peer-to-peer -peer learning, ICT tools, and so much more. E-tweening in initial teacher education creates opportunities for students' involvement, offers topics and course integration, provides distinctive and innovative tools for higher quality of professional development, and enables student teachers to build not only conceptual knowledge, but also gain practical experience. Students in the projects are expected to cooperate, to effectively work in teams, to develop various aspects of communication, to learn from each other in international settings, to develop flexibility and accept different perspectives. Using e-tweening, teacher trainers in this project hope to have provided their students the means to learn how to structure subject material by establishing links with other subjects and using CLIL, while at the same time respecting the needs of individual pupils to reach set objectives. In this way, student teachers are a step closer to reaching pedagogical innovation supported by an international networking experience.